Eddie, what is it you love about Belfast? Personally, I've been DJing in Belfast since 1983, which is literally 30 years. And I've always found it the most excitingly vibrant place. Is it the people? It's Yeah, of course it's the people, you know, it, it always has been. But this kind of little mod scene that you've had going on in Belfast for as long as I've been coming here, it's just fantastic. And they're still, they're still here. Leaving in rock and roll. Marty, tell me a bit about the mod scene in Belfast and Afterglow. Well, it's sort of, uh, Afterglow's going about three years now, so it is. It's just for mods today, for to go out and have a good night, you know, and dress up and listen to the music of a love, you know. The mod scene in Belfast had been going, it's really kicked off about six years now. The best years of your life are when you're a teenager, you know, so you sort of want to do it all again. It's more of a sort of lifestyle now, you know, where then it was just like all teen angst, you know, and all tribes, and everyone was something, skinheads, mods, punks, you know. Up here looks good and we've booked it now for our five dates the rest of the year. And so this is going to be our new home, hopefully. There's two kinds of mods. There's kids who get into it, at any stage in their life and like it for the clothes and the music and there's guys who were into it and then have what we call a mod life crisis and they get to about 40 and think i've got a few quid i've never had that decent lambrata that costs five grand now i'm going to buy one have a look they're all over the place to be honest when i come here i always have fun why do belfast people party so hard i don't know I'm Eddie Pillar and I'm definitely back in Belfast. Dreaming of his